Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, I've got a mail here. I, I, you know, I, I'm curious to get your takes on this. And please, I, I, this is a more complex question. So I think there's the knee-jerk reaction, and then there's actually the more thoughtful reaction. So you know, I I, I appreciate your comments. I, I don't really. No, I do. I do. I appreciate your comments. But think about the more deep part of this question. So here here basically goes. So, hey Perch, with the upcoming election that is expected to be very tight. Do you think there is a result which result do you think sorry do you okay do you think there is a result which results in better comics Here is my perspective The conservative Donald Trump is likely to bring about more conservative values which could indicate more traditional superhero stories whereas liberal, liberal Kamala Harris will encourage comic creators to to create more LGBTQ type content or non superhero superhero stories. Wait, did I not yeah, no, I read it right. Non super non super oh I get non superhero superhero stories. So meaning stories that not in the superhero genre. Do you agree with this? And do you hope that a partic do you hope there will be a particular result? Do you hope okay do you hope that there will be a particular I'm sorry for Reading this all scree. Um, there's there's some grammar stuff in here. Do you hope there is a particular result that will lead to better comics? Curious to get your take on this. Thank you for the okay, and then some nice. Stuff. Thank you always for the nice comments. I don't usually read those when people put in the like the extra paragraph. I appreciate them though, so I do. I, I really appreciate the kind words and kind thoughts and the moral support. I, I really do. Um, but I don't. I feel like I feel embarrassed to read them to all of you. I mean, this just seems like I'm bragging. Um, okay. Uh, no, I don't think so. That's, pretty, that's a short answer. Um, that's a knee jerk answer, which, uh, but here's a more thoughtful one. Um, look, I, I think for a lot of reasons that the results of a political race and this, this race will be close. Um, I, I think that the, the odds that the results of whatever happens here changes the story quality or the general themes in comics I think is very low unless I think if um, Trump pulls it out and he winds up winning, I think you're going to get a, you're going to get a handful of resistance themes. You're going to get comic creators to doing the government overreach equally like the, the like basically the, the storylines you're getting right now with Tom King and the Amazon and ice, you're going to get that times 20. You're just going to get more of those are going to investigate more about an authoritarian leader is like you're going to get lots of little nods to, you know, Trump being a douche in, in comics. You'll just you'll get more. You get more creators feel like the thing I'm going to do to help save democracy is to make subtle little in jokes to attack Trump in the pages of the Red Goblin comic. I mean, you're, you're just going to get stuff like that. Um, and so I, I think that, you know, if anything, if, if the Republican wins, if Trump wins, I think you get. You get more resistance stories and more resistance Kickstarters, and you get these terrible, terrible uh, crowdfunded books where it's like panels of creators talking about, as I watched the election and realized I was going to lose, I I went outside and protested, and, and this is supposed to be some kind of meaningful life story for people to read. I, I don't know. Um, I think you're going to get a lot of this. If Harris wins... I think, um, I don't know, I think you got to get status quo of current comics. I think you just kind of get things floating around. I don't think you get this sudden, like, oh, Harris won. Now let's put out a bunch of lesbians in comics. I, I, you're not going to get anything like that. Um, you know, I, I think I just uh, I just watched the season finale of Agatha. And, um, you know, that first of all, that show blew the ending, in my opinion. Um, I'm meeting people who say that they... They thought the it was bad, but the ending saved it. And I've met people the opposite. I'm definitely of the opinion, like, I think that show was better than expected. I still think it's one of the MCU's better TV shows. Um, but they blew the ending. But one of the things people are talking about is they put a very prominent Trans Lives Matter uh, poster on the wall. And I I, I just got to say this. Is is that in bad taste all to Black Lives Matter? Like, like I, I don't know. That doesn't seem... It, it, like like you shouldn't copy the same message i i really i i don't i don't know i that first of all it felt weird and also it felt very shoehorned in i guess my point there is if if kabla wins i don't think you get more of that i i don't think it i don't think it factors one way or another um 
Look, I, I could do without a bunch of resistance stories. I, I my hope would be, look, if whoever wins, try it. Let's try and create some meaningful, memorable stories. It's the same thing I've said in in videos for you know those of you who are trying to do some indie book. Like let let's see what you got. Let like let's see your amazing, you know, blowout story, and let's stop hinging your life around a particular race, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. And I understand, you know, the, you know, the one candidate will, you know, basically push on things. But and I and people hate to hear this. They absolutely fucking hate to hear this. Uh, or sorry, they hate to hear this when their side loses. They love to hear it when their side wins. Um, it, it, the, the things are not going to dramatically change. You know, if Trump wins, they're not going to outlaw black people. That's not going to happen. If Harris wins, they're not going to have mandatory, you know, uh, transition surgeries. It's it, like, it, and and what is my evidence of this? History, like the the forever of history. We we just went through four years of Biden, and you can say, hey, it was bad for the economy. Hey, it's it was uh, bad for, you know, immigration went up. Hey, we had inflation. Okay, uh, that's all true, but that's not what people are saying. They're saying like, ah, oh, Biden's been in charge, and now there's like. You know, there's transgender children just everywhere and schools are just chopping dicks off right, left and right. And and conversely, you had four years of Trump. Were, there were were there internment camps for Muslims? There was not. You know, I, I mean, this this is the silliness of it um, there. There I understand it's easy to go to this like extreme of all the things that are going to happen when your person loses or wins. Um, but it, it, it doesn't, it, it usually doesn't result in that. Now it doesn't mean the election is, is irrelevant. I mean, if, look, if you care about inflation and, and, uh, you know, fiscal responsibility and debt and all those things, then yeah, I mean, that there's definitely differences in the candidates on what they're going to do. You gotta, you know, like an economist, you gotta pick what strategy is going to work, but the kind of the breathless, like, you know, all, all, uh, LGBTQ people are going to be made illegal under Trump. Like, like, come on, come on. Okay. You, you have, you, you have history. You have like, do you really think he's going to get in there and be like, fuck it, this time I'm going to do it. No, he's not. Again, that you could still hate him. You could still hate his personality. You can hate what he does. You can hate what she does. You can hate her personality. She laughs too much. The laugh is annoying. I, I mean, whatever your reason is, it's fine, but you don't serve yourself or anyone else well by thinking that like the person's going to get in and immediately we're going to turn into uh, the handmaiden's tale or I don't know what the equivalent is a, a, a nonstop drag show. It's like we, you, you have in this case, you have history with both people to look at. You, you have proof. Um, so when it comes to comics, no, I don't think much changes. Uh, again, I think the only thing that changes or the only thing that is a factor here is you know, which creators are going to want to take it upon themselves to quote unquote resist through comics. And, uh, my, my advice to those that are like, look, if you're a creator, um, and you're feeling this way, you, well, chances are you're not listening to the show, but if some of you are friends with some of those people, or you have a friend, like do me this favor. If you are, you know, let's say it is, uh, the election has happened and let's say Trump has won, you know, the, the world has ended. Trump has won. Reach out to that liberal friend of yours in a nice way because we need a society that functions well together and actually attempts to like get along and, and collaborate. Like that is that is kind of important for the overall, you know, fabric of society. We we do need that. So reach out to that person and say, look, you know, if you're if you're wanting to make a difference, if you're feeling helpless, you're feeling frustrated because your side lost, there's some things you can do which will have a real profound impact on people. For example, you could go volunteer at a homeless shelter. They need help. They need help, like, you know, getting blankets, collecting clothes, getting food. They need help. You can help. You know, volunteer at a food bank. You know, they also, a lot of these places need help. Let's say, you know, you you truly are, you, you worry about, you know, women's health and, and, you know, how women are treated and other things. Well, you know, there are women's shelters. They need help. You don't have to live there. You don't even have to spend much time there. You can go like if you went in for a half an hour and like helped wash clothes or help sort through donations, you, you're providing like that. What a massive gift you're getting those people. Just 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 volunteer. It, this is way more productive. 
infinitely more productive than making a resistance comic book or sneaking in a Trump version of Modoc into your comic. There's, there's like tangible things that will actually help real people and make a real difference. And you making a real difference in someone's life is going to be a way better, you know, opportunity to win them over to your heart and your worldview than, you know, being a dick on Twitter and, uh, and making a comic book about how you were sad on election night. That's this like, you know, help. If you want to help people, there are, there are lots of ways you could help people, meaningful ways you can help people. Conversely, by the way, if you're, you know, a liberal listening to this show, you have a friend who's really mad because Trump lost. Um, again, there's, there's, there's lots of things you can do to, to help, you know, uh, the boys girls club is a great organization. I've, I've donated the, the proceeds of the ad revenue on this channel have gone to that, uh, the boys girls club many, many times. There are kids out there who are from single parent homes, have no role model, desperate for help. You can, you know, you can certainly get really mad at the woke and you can make a channel talking about the woke and from now until infinity, or, you know, if you want to help kids, um, you know, or fuck, fuck it, do both. But at the very least, you go to this boys girls club, you can be a mentor to that kid. You could teach a person how to draw. You can help them with their homework. You can play sports with them. There are kids out there who are in desperate need of role models in particular male role models. You know, if you're a guy and you're worried about the wokeification of the country, you know, uh, go spend some time with some kids who have no male role model at all, who uh, their mom is, you know, working extra hours to kind of make do because they're a single mom. Who cares how she got there? I, I understand you can certainly weigh in on that in your own personal time. But right now you got a kid who needs some, you know, a male role model. Get it, get out there and, and provide that support. Like, and, and again, this, this takes no time. So, Sorry, I don't think comics change. I'm curious what all the rest of you think. Do you think comics are impacted by this at all? I don't think so. Minus the potential for some idiots to try and do resistance books. Um, I, you know, that that's the only thing I think comes out of this. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments a little bit. But do at least consider, you know, it, try try donating some of your time. You know, a lot of people think about donations like cash. Yeah, sure. But time. Thanks for listening.